Hello, today I would like to show you new device or yeah, that's not accurate. This is not a new device because I purchased it at sale on the AliExpress on the 11.11. There was a big sale there, the prices went down and for that model actually there was a a real discount because I was watching it for for uh, some time and I was like thinking which set should I buy because this is like a absolutely maxed out with this case with this holder and three sets of bits and they were also a uh, smaller accessories like a magnetic pad, some screw, and this is like the max out. There was a cheaper model of this uh, wow stick, which is powered by on the by by the by the by the batteries. That one is using the micro USB for recharging, and that was the my goal. And I'm using it. I'm using it from that time and I'm pretty I'm pretty happy. I cannot see any any major problem with this unit. Everything is working just fine. The the biggest maybe not a problem, but something that I, I don't like is that it has this nice light that helps you in in finding the, the right spot for a, a tip on the screw and it is only enabling when it's rotating so it's kind of absolutely useless you have to pick like that and then put and you you cannot put inside the screw when when it's on so yeah that's that's uh, that's a stupid what I would do if this would be a second revision if someone asked me I would add something like on the on the camera when you press the button a little bit and then the camera grab the focus and you push harder then it snap a picture that's a very very common thing and I would like to see that here so if you just tiny put the light should go on let you aim but yeah that's that's not a big problem this is this was a cheap device i believe about 25 us dollars maybe a little bit more maybe about 28 let's take a look so that part is made of metal maybe that is a Aluminum We've got our forward and backward Here is the name of this and there is a, as you can see that a label saying Dowel double power mix and What does it mean and that's absolutely a great feature you can use this as a standard screwdriver and you do not have to click anything. I'm going to show you in a second. There is a mechanical locking device inside. Very, very interesting. I recommend you searching a, a YouTube for for video how this device actually work. Because as you can see, if I'm going to press here, it's rotating without any problems. But if I'm going to grab this part and if I'm going to go like this, now it lock and as you can see, it doesn't move. See, and the same thing in the, in the backward. So you can just use this as a standard screwdriver and that is very handy if a screw have, for example, a drop of a uh, Loctite something like this 
and you have that tiny bit more force to to start to break the, the Loctite and after you break it then you can go using the electric one for the for the rest and yes that's very good and also I'm using this very often for checking if uh, I've got a right tip the tip are very good I do not have any any problems with them and there is a lot of them I'm going to show you in second there is also a, a tiny problem with that but with the case but let's go to this so I very enjoy this for testing it I have a right size and I came across of comments that people are saying that they do not use the electric screwdriver because it striping the the screw it damaging the the head and that is absolutely absolutely not true that is ridiculous you are going to damage the the head screw no matter if you are using the just standard uh, hand tight screwdriver or electric one the only thing that is common that you have to have a, a wrong bit to do that of course if you are going to force the the by by the hand and if you've got the wrong size it's going to slip go out and you are going to to damage screw so that is not problem with the with the screwdriver there is a problem with a, a user and this is why i very enjoy this because because let me let me find something if you are going to grab a, a screw what i'm doing i put a screwdriver and as you can see and that one was too easy and as you can see i'm checking if it's slip if it's going out if i do not feel uh, on my hand that it have a good good tight good lock it's slipping out for example then i would go and change the the bit if you are going to it it's going to popping out and you are going to to try to to force it to to unscrew then you are going to strip the screw but this is not fault of a screwdriver but you using the wrong tip so let's try to so i'm just checking if it's okay then you've got no problem in using this device and yes it's very nice only thing that you might say there have an issue is that it doesn't have a control of a force i overcome that by a very simple thing if you notice i do not hold it very 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 still very very i didn't use uh, much force for a grip so as you can see i allow it to rotate in my hand and just like a slip this is my uh, <laughs> this is how i adjust the force because sometimes you don't want to use uh, too much tension you don't want to break something like on the on the laptop computer or a tiny camera so this is something that i kind of missing just allowing you to maybe a digitally adjust the the maximum force but yes very very good i absolutely recommend this is how looks the tip and on the set that you've got lots of tips and you can buy either a smaller set or a larger one i go for the most beefy set of this free free barrel 
heal with different tips and there is a plenty to choose from so as i said if it's slipping if it's popping out do not have a good grip then don't try to drill it out because that is not a fault of an electric screwdriver this is a fault in you of choosing a wrong bit if you are going to choose a right bit then it's absolutely no problem and that is quite annoying at the first glance i was sure that that is a great idea because you can first take a look which one you are looking and then pop it out but i lost that part i lost that part i lost i lost this part so that is quite quite annoying and it fell off so yeah yes then this is not the not the best idea i would change it i don't know which option will be better but it clearly need a change so if you take a look there is a lot of bits lot of bits you can that one is one extra i should have find where it's missing so here are the longer one if you have trouble to reaching i'm using them very good very good idea only the most common the phillips and the flat screwdriver but that was a very good idea because sometimes that is an issue and this is the the opening and that just falling off after some time as you can see that are that i didn't use too too often that's why it's still on the on the top cap so yes and if you would like to go into a field if you'd like to do a repair in travel you've got this nice case that is by the way magnetic and it holds your screwdriver and one set of the of the bits and it gives you a very nice feel so yes this is a, a very nice set it's looking nice but I'm not putting it, I'm using this only inside my my lab. And let's go to other device that is uh, very nice and that I'm actually using. Quite heavy piece of metal. I don't think that is uh, aluminum because it's too, too heavy, but looks very, very nice. And it have a hole and you can put your screwdriver like this it have it was engineered very well because it's going to i use the wrong size this is what why i say that this is not so great but if you've got a tip there is no problem in going in and it's ready to use i'm trying to keep the most commonly that was the reason why you've got a, you see me a phillips screwdriver and the the long one that was like the most common that's why it's sitting inside that and of course the the longer one that is for me the most common one it also go without any any problems so yes very nice i i enjoy this 
What else? We've got a box with the... Here you can see how it was actually name and there are some some details and it was packaged quite well i i wanted to make a unboxing like a real one but as i said it was a couple months back and it was just sitting in my lab i wanted to make a video then I have to unscrew things, I start unscrewing, I start using this and that was just like thrown in the in the corner so there is no uh, good effect. There was a there was a tiny tiny jar with uh, screws just like that. That that was inside of this set just a tiny screw in tiny jar there was a magnetic pad that i've got inside of other location because here i've got that one so yes oh i i wanted to show you and this is the screwdriver that i was using for i'm using for everything else that is bigger one i put a lithium ion battery inside this is why i've got that difference and i changed the gear to 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 the metal one so that is like uh, my last screwdriver from many many years and i also uh, 3d printed that holder for for a bit but what i wanted to show you and if you would like to do the same thing, because if you would like to either unscrew manually with this or to check if there is a good grip, there is a switch that is locking. Now it's locked and you can use this just like a standard screwdriver or you can test if it has a good grip, but as you can see, that is annoying because you have to switch it manually and here exactly the same thing is going to do automatically just when you try to try to rotate it same effect but without any 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 need of switching so this is how how it looks like you saw how it's un unscrewing and it's unscrewing very nice on oh, that screw is tight so I was I was firstly using the using the force of my hand and yes this is how how it looks like I very recommend for for that price couple months of use I do not have any problems like it very much and I think I can I can clearly recommend this. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.